Right now, our biggest issue in the dairy industry is profitability. But one of the things that we haven't thought about for very long is whether yield is really the true indicator of profit or whether there's other things we can do on our farms to make us more sustainable. So traditionally we use financial data or we use animal health data to do a lot of our dairy economics work. Through my research I always ask the question why don't we combine those two data sets. Farmers have all kinds of data in individual spots and it hasn't been put together to make comprehensive management decisions. We're in an information age today especially in the dairy industry and there's a trove of data out on dairy farms and within our dairy organizations and we need someone to capture them and, and use them. So my research is looking at a more whole systems approach to studying decisions on dairy farms. So by combining cow level records and farm financial records, I'm able to look back historically at how these decisions were made and how they've affected profit today. And we've now created the, the first data set across the country that combines animal health, production, and financial data. So it's giving the U of M the opportunity to be at the forefront of looking at these comprehensive management decisions and providing recommendations that will drive the industry. So one of the outcomes of this project is to develop a tool or a methodology that's going to help the farmers, in particular dairy producers, use their data in a more efficient manner without requiring them to take more time. I think we got Dr. Hadrick at the exact right time. Having that outside perspective of someone who grew up on a dairy farm and now can string all of the characteristics together from environmental to profitability to what that really means in practical day to day is very important. So that's been extremely helpful as we've moved forward to get farmers back to profitability here in 2019.